The next piece of equipment we're going to discuss is the Aerogen Vibrating Mesh Nebulizer. This nebulizer is one of the newest technology that is out there. It has a palladium mesh. You don't need to know palladium mesh. Just imagine that it has a mesh that vibrates up and down and it creates millions of tiny, tiny particles in your medication. This is the Solo, the Aerogen Solo. This is where the medication goes. If you look on the end here, right there, you can see little threads. What the threads are, are where we can actually screw on a continuous feed. It'll be hooked up to a feed pump, and then it drips, not to feed, but it drips medication. So if we have a, someone on a continuous nebulizer, we can deliver drop by drop medication for hours on end. Then this can actually be delivered mouthpiece or via mask or however you want to do it. Going over the hardware first, we have our power cable or our interface cable, whatever you want to call it. It plugs into the bottom, this end. You cannot cross plug any of this. And this piece right here will go to the solo. Your power cord from the wall is right there and it goes in the side. When you plug it in the side, you'll see the green light is on, and that is letting you know that it is charging. This end goes into our Solo, so be careful with it. There are only two little metal prongs in there. You bend them up. We don't have another Solo. Now, two ways of using this. If you press it once, I have medication in there. It will go to a 30 minute. Turn it off, press and hold. It will go to continuous. So you need to hold it for about 10 seconds or so, five, 10 seconds, and it will go to continuous mode. Press to turn off. If it is unplugged, it will not go to continuous. It has to be plugged up to do continuous. So you've already seen it do the mist, but what I'm going to do is show you how to put the medication in. Take it back here, drop by drop. I'm only going to put four drops in, close it up, and then turn it on. That is it, and you're delivering medication. As I said, this can go on a BiPAP, it can go on a ventilator, it can go on pretty much anything, mouthpiece or mask. What we have here is a mouthpiece. See, that doesn't go. So what you need to do is this does need to stay in the upright position. Goes there, and here's your mouthpiece. When you turn it on, you notice that this is filling up with mist and it's waiting for someone to breathe in. It's just water so you can't see anything and I'm already out of medication in here. So you have a one-way valve here which allows, does not allow the patient, it makes the patient suck in through here. There's a one-way valve down here so they can only suck in. This valve prevents any inhalation from here but they can exhale, so and I'm not breathing through this because numerous students' hands have been on it. Now, if we want to use a mask treatment, we can do that too, right there. What we also can do, if you use a mask, you need at least one liter per minute flushing through. That is per manufacturer standard. I know with a simple mask, we have said you need a minimum of six liters per minute. This is per manufacturer, and we're going with manufacturer recommendations. I'm just putting more saline in here. See, just put a little flow through the bottom. So one liter per minute going through will help the medication get out and the patient can breathe it. So you can give the aerogen with a mouthpiece or 
with the mask. If you use the mask, you must have one liter per minute going into the bottom. That is the Aerogen. Vibrating mesh uh, nebulizer. You will also be possibly using this with other medications such as Flowland for pulmonary hypertension. We'll get into that next semester.